Beautiful. What's going on guys, welcome to another awesome video where I'll be showing you how to use SOLIDWORKS and 3D printing to create awesome things like this mech robot. This is the second part of a video series that I'm doing. In the first part I created this model in 3D, I created it in SOLIDWORKS and spoke about the techniques and my design process of creating this in SOLIDWORKS and now I have printed it. This part is going to be about the printing process and bringing this into the real world. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. Once the parts are all ready, I put them into the slicing software I use. This basically creates a profile of this for the machine to understand and to create it. So bam, let's go and get into the time lapse of this thing printing. We now have all of the pieces printed, all the rest, little bits are all in here. Some of these I've already assembled very quickly in order just to you know, test how they would work um, in case there were any changes needed. Everything works out perfectly. So to start off, I'll quickly show you my whole idea of using 3mm filament in order to make the little finger joints as you can see here. Start with finger tip. So you got your finger, you got your tip, finger tip. That was a very cheeky reference to uh, PPAP. Alright, so you got these two little parts. And then the idea is that this filament just slide in there, just a little bit. And then trim off the excess and you've got a working joint. So I'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see this a lot closer and in time-lapse form with the GoPro. Let's get on with it. The model is built and this is the thing about 3D printing is that it's made to make something quickly so you can get an idea. That's what it's originally designed for, rapid prototype. 
So using a new machine, the tolerancing here, as you can see, is a little bit looser than uh, previous machines that I use. So you know, I've learned that I need to improve my tolerancing. But uh, you know that, that also led to the case that it doesn't stand on its own. So what I'm going to be getting is what I'll be doing is I'll get myself a clear acrylic rod here so that I can just put it there, and this little guy can then stand on his own on a little base. But we'll see that in the next little bit. So I'm really happy with him. So guys, here you can see the little stand that I had created with the acrylic rod, and it just helps it stand very simply. Uh, it just helps it stand in place to get a better idea of it, standing position from, to give it a better idea of how it can go from a folding position to a standing position. The folding position is purely for transportation, so it could sit on the back of a truck or be stored in a firehouse and only brought out when needed. The shoulders can move around in 360 degrees around and 180 degrees outwards. The cockpit can also open to demonstrate how the pilot would be able to get in and out. So guys, that would conclude everything about this model and this process from the, the conceptualization, the 3D modeling and then the 3D printing. This process is great for prototyping concepts to pitch ideas and this can then go on to further development in any which way such as figuring out how the arms would actually move, the interior for the, for the pilot to use, all that kind of stuff all starts with this kind of model your basic initial prototype and this is what 3d printing is great and it's great to have small desktop machines to be able to do this in-house if you guys have any questions about this about 3d printing about SolarWorks, please leave them down in the comment section down below and we'll see you guys in the next one insert funny scene here